Hi, this is Ariel. Bonjour. Welcome to my channel where we make fun costumes and weird stuff. You know I love to make DIY projects that are useless, but sometimes they can be useful. Are you tired of carrying around the same handbags as everybody else? Do you want something goofy? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. <laughs> Today I will be showing you how I made a handbag that is shaped like a pencil that is also useful and very cute. It will be the perfect accessory to go with my pencil shaving outfit that I just made. I will link that video somewhere, but watch this one first. I asked if you thought the handbag would be a good idea and you said yes. I think it's a perfect quirky project and I also have all the materials ready for it, which is quite nice to not have to do any shopping. So grab your stationary supplies and let's make this bag. Okay, the main body of the bag will be this yellow vinyl. This is the leftover from the circle skirt. We need a zipper for closure. For that, I have my box of salvaged zippers. I didn't buy any of those. Some were from old shop stocks and others that I scavenged from old bags and old clothes that would go in the garbage. What? I love garbage. I don't have a long enough in yellow, so let's go with black. Making some very detailed measures and plans that I will absolutely not follow. As usual, the bare requirements is that I can fit my phone in this. These transparent Japanese rulers are super nice to measure any curved areas. Highly recommend if you are drafting patterns or making alterations. This bag is made of fabric, so I need something to structure the fabric and make the angles of the pencil. This material is very lightweight and easy to use, so I think it's a good choice. Unless you have like a very stiff interfacing, but I don't. I use a sharpening stone to sharpen the blade so I don't have to replace them all the time because the foam will dull the blade and we want the cuts to be very clean. And I don't want to buy more stuff. I cut them into an angle so the corners don't overlap when I fold the whole thing into a tube. To glue the EVA foam to the vinyl, I'm using contact cement. That is the best adhesive to use. You apply a very thin layer to both sides, then wait a few minutes so it's a bit dry but still a bit tacky. Then press firmly the both together. This makes a very strong connection between the two. I got into a rhythm where I apply glue to one while the other dries. And that way you can just keep working without actually waiting for each one to dry. I'm very happy to report that it works. <laughs> so for the point of our pencil. I'm using the leftover wood fabric from the outfit. If you don't know, this is actually wood. It's little pieces of cork, very thin, that are glued to a canvas. It's very fun to use, but never use any steam from your iron. I don't know what will be the point of this. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how pointy I should make it. I'm making this pencil very short, so I think if it's not too pointy, it will be cuter. Hopefully. The tip will be this scrap of uh, felted wool. I'm using this because it's the only black fabric that I have that doesn't fray. Let's just sew it down with a zigzag stitch. And this wood fabric is like super papery. It has absolutely no stretch, so I'm just removing the bulk from under this black part. Okay, so now let's assemble the point to the body. It is so annoying to sew. I'm realizing that I probably should have glued the stiffing foam at the end of this project because the stiffness of the thing makes it so annoying to go in, in the sewing machine. I cannot fold this fabric anymore. This is uh, going to be a problem. <laughs> okay, I barely managed to sew that in the sewing machine. The more construction on this, the less manageable. Those little uh, triangles need to be slightly smaller in proportion to the point. Let's just cut a bit off right now. And of course, there is no way that I will be able to sew this with the sewing machine. So hand sewing it is. I use my uh, roulette. 
to mark the stitches evenly spaced. It could also work if you just uh, glue them, but it's not too hard to hand sew. I won't be able to turn this bag inside out too many times because it might damage the foam and make weird creases. So let's just make sure that we can attach the zipper and the lining at the same time. Ah, and also to make sure that the bag keeps its rounded shape, I'm doing a little boning channel. Just a folded ribbon that is hand sewn to the seam allowance. And with the zipper in place, I can kind of turn the bag inside out. It did make a few creases in the foam, so I won't be doing that again. But we have a shape. Let me just insert this uh, uh, plastic thing <laughs> into the burning channel. I think I got it in the electric aisle of the hardware store. I've been using this like uh, basically a super chunky fishing line. Now we need to work on the butt of this pencil. Let's make the eraser part. I have this scrap of silver fabric that I think is just perfect for what I need. We just need to piece it together and I have like this sort of pattern. You see here? Just make it super narrow. Let's attach this. And make the eraser part. I cut a circle in this pink cotton. This one is scraps from the Rococo dress. Let's make it fluffy like a plushie. A quick basting stitch around this circle. It is way bigger than I need for now. I just stopped sewing because, I don't know, everything is just pinned down, but I'm not sure that I like this shape. I wanted the eraser to be short, like the pencil, because the pencil is all used up, but I think the proportions are wrong. Also, the points need to be filled up because it's bleh. Help me. So I'm going to make the eraser bigger, like boop, but also the pencil shorter. I'm going to chop maybe here. That way I can sew the eraser part separately and I can work on this because I can't really turn this inside out anymore. C'est parti mon kiki! Speaking of pencil sharpeners, you can sharpen your internet protection with NordVPN. <laughs> With so much of our lives being conducted online, guilty, it's important that we protect ourselves from cyber threats. And that's where NordVPN comes in. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that encrypts your internet connection and hides your online activities from spying eyes. It's super easy to use and it works on all your devices. You can connect six of them so you can be protected no matter where you are. You can access these contents that are not available in your country or sometimes platform subscriptions are cheaper in other countries. And you can get much better deals by switching your location. And with thousands of servers in 60 countries, you can enjoy fast and reliable connections all over the world. So if you are looking for a simple and effective way to stay safe online, you can give NordVPN a try. And they have a 30 days Money back guarantee. And you can get a coupon code by using the code Azariel Costume. I will put the link down in the description if you want to check it out. Thank you so much, NordVPN, for sponsoring this channel. Now back to work. Okay, so the point is filled with the scrap batting, and the larger piece of batting is keeping all that in place. Now we can finish closing the lining. Hopefully we can do that from the outside with the sewing machine. And I can hide the little space at the end of the zipper with a little buckle. I'm just trying different ways for this. Um, first, we took a little bit of vinyl with a piece of twill tape inside, but uh, they were too small to hide the ugly stitches that hold uh, the end of the zipper and the batting inside. Second try, I wanted to use some rivets with uh, those pieces of scrap leather, shaped like... Uh, but the yellow vinyl has a bit of stretch, so it's not strong enough for the rivets. And the foam, anyway, prevented me from adding some strengthening layer inside. Uh, so I just got a trapezoid and sew it by hand. It's not the cleanest, but it's okay. So the front of the bag is done, and now we need to make it a little bit shorter by chopping off his butt and making the eraser better. 
For the extension of the pink eraser, I just need to add a little strip, just a simple straight piece with some batting on the back and connect those three pieces. And there is no foam here, so it's so much easier to sew. I shouldn't have done this for the whole bag. And as suggested from comments in the previous video, I definitely agree that a pillbox hat will be the cutest thing with slightly different proportions. And the eraser can be just plopped in there. It fits very snugly and also it has the structure and the support of the foam on the inside and it can be sewn from the outside. And the second buckle can be assembled at the same time. Finally, the last seam, that is also, of course, the most annoying one, because the needle has to go through all the layers, including the foam. So it took more than one hour just for this final seam. The end of the lining is sewn shut, so it's clean on the inside. But now it is done. If you want to know how to make this outfit, you can watch this video next. Allez, bisous!